<laughs> Hello and, uh, and welcome to my very hot and uh, very messy kitchen but that doesn't matter because today I'm stringing onions and I'm going to show you how I do that. So this is how I, I start. So you, I start with, I'm showing you just on a short piece, but you start with a long piece of uh, string or twine. I'm using baling twine because that's what I've got and I think in America you don't call it baling twine, I think you call it hay string. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but it's not baling twine. But anyway, you'll know what I mean. It's the stuff that goes around bales of hay and bales of, and bales of straw. So you double over your length. So you make them approximately the same length at the other end because you're gonna want to knot those. Knot them in a really firm knot. That's not, going to, that's not going to come undone. Lots of knots here, but something that isn't going to come undone because you want to hang it from this. So that's got to be nice and firm. And then you need to make a loop in the other end. Um, and I do that by putting my fingers, putting my fingers through and just turning my hand over. So now I've got this arrangement. And then I can slide that bit along and I've got a nice nice loop there. Can you see it tightens and loosens? So what you want to do is, now I've got a very big onion here and it's got a very small neck um, and it probably won't take the weight, but this is only for demonstration purposes. So you put the loop over, over the stem of the onion and then you pull it tight. So it's holding, so it's holding the stem like that. Now, if this was a good stem, that would hang and that would be, well, oh, hooray, it has hung, but it won't stay for very long because there's not enough, enough length here. But that's how I started off. And then the next onion, so I do that, and then this end, I hang on a door handle or uh, I've actually tied it onto our, I've tied it onto our door handle, you know, by putting it around the door handle and actually tying quite a firm knot, um, which I can get undone, but it's got, it's gonna take quite a lot of weight and quite a lot of pressure. So you just do that. So you've tied it at the other end. So we've got to pretend the other end is tied. And, and then you start it off by separating the strings out and putting, the neck of an onion through, and this is fiddly. It really is fiddly. Now I've got to, I've got to play with this string because obviously this would normally be hanging. So you've got it through. You're going to hold on to, hold on to that little stem, and twist your onion over. I've got one more I can do it with, just as a, a little demonstration. So you put your onion in through that gap can you see and that's what you're going to do all the way around and then you twist your onion over now this is even more fiddly for me because I haven't got the, the pressure of the thing now and these are also the onions that I rejected because they I didn't think that they would stay in the in the string long enough but there you go that's that's your start
don't know what's the, the correct way to string onions, um, but this is how I do it. And you have uh, two pieces of string, or a long piece of string doubled over, um, and two, three or four works absolutely fine. Uh, it won't work with only one, um, because you need, you need to be able to put your onion in between the uh, in between the wires. So I decide where I want the next onion to be. So here I want it to sit just there. So I thread the the neck the dried neck of the onion through so that the the, the stem effectively sits where I want the onion to be. And I hold it gently and then I twist the onion round and into place. And you've got this bit of stem left and I just lock it over. Now, I'll show you again. So where that bit of stem was, I take it over the top, but I don't do that with all of them. I only do it if there's enough stem to do that um, or if they're looking really squashed together. Now, it does, it does mean I have lots of sticky out bits that are quite scruffy, but I can trim those off afterwards. That's not a problem. And if you've got onions that have got quite short uh, necks, stems, as it were, uh, they don't necessarily, they don't stay terribly well. And certainly if they're heavier, if they're the, your bigger onions and they've only got a short neck, you've got a real struggle to, to get them to stay um, because the, the weight of the onion uh, breaks, the, breaks the stem off and it won't sit there. Um, or if like this one, it's it's really quite thin but I want it to go sit over that side so so I'm putting the stem facing that way uh, yes yeah, so if it's quite thin it will it's, it can also snap which will make it not work terribly well um, but this works for me and um, it's oh, you know it looks quite pretty um, and it's a great way to store them and you need to store them somewhere uh, cool and dry uh, you don't want them to get to be getting wet so I'm actually going to store them in our barn which little teeny ones like this well it's got quite a soft soft neck I think I'll just use that uh, what I was saying about the big bigger onions so that's quite a big onion uh, I've tried adding this and uh, it just hasn't got enough enough support uh, so I'm going to use that one next and I think I think that's me near enough done now. Well, that's it for today from my uh, incredibly hot, <laughs> incredibly hot kitchen. So wherever you are in the world and whatever you're doing today, I hope it's a good one for you. And I also hope that you can join me again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.